it's Andrea Mercy aka Enloam and welcome to the second part of my Pieces of Purgatory project. You can see part one right here that I did yesterday. This video obviously was already completed so we're just gonna jump right in. Catch you on the other side. Okay, so we're back. Before I started this project, I had put the canvases in kind of the manner in which I wanted them to be beforehand. I didn't want to try and have to make that decision after the fact when I got kind of confused with colors because I knew I was going to be doing this. So I've now set everything up into the configuration that I wanted. And now we're going to this one needs to go up there a little bit. Now what I need to do is attach them together. And I had asked some of my friends in the CAC what they used for an adhesive. And they told, they told me E6000. Teresa Sim told me E6000 was good. Um, originally I was just going to tack them at the corners and then I thought it wouldn't be strong enough. So I went out and got some of these mending plates, two inches zinc mending plates, and some that are shaped like an L. And my objective is to join them. Like I'm gonna put kind of one here. They kind of join them at the side and at the top and bottom. If I can, a little bit underneath. Am I going to have to do two rows of this? I might have to do it underneath. I might have to flip everything over. Anyways, all the rest of this is going to be in some form of fast forward and then when I'm done I'll come back with the final product. That's what we're doing. Or should I glue that first and then flip the whole thing over and add this armature later? This one needs more weight because there's nothing supporting that corner. So what I'm going to do is let this sit for a couple of hours. Um, while it just tacks up enough so that I can flip it over and then attach the armature to the back with some more E6000. That's my plan. So I will come back when I get ready to flip it over and we'll put the armature on and then I'll have to decide which way I want it to hang on the wall and I will add, oh, I'm not sure what I'll add to hang it. We're back. So as you can see, it's dried into one piece, although it's still really fragile. So I'm going to flip it over and then add the armature with these mending plates and the E6000. Um, my mending plates aren't long enough to span every single area. So I'm going to do the first bit of armature with some stir st coffee stir sticks. Um, if I make a web and attach all of them together, that should give it some serious, like this one here is really loose because it's only attached on one. I might have to do some significant, like this, the ones on the edges. So yeah, with the stir sticks, I can get um, I can get farther along, and then what I'll do is I'll e six thousand in here after. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, best laid plans. <laughs>
So as you can see, I'm moving forward a lot more slowly than I thought. I have to put a little bit of weight down. I had to shim up uh, the corners. Um, and I, I applied more E6000 on top of the sticks to try and encase the sticks in, um, in the E6000 so that it's kind of a permanent thing. And of course now I can't move anything, so um, I'm just going to keep going, keep going. And then, so once I have kind of direct sticks, I think I might do some on the diagonal in the middle, or at least one in the diagonal in the middle, uh, just to give it some tension. So kind of put as many sticks as I can. I mean, this is supposed to hang on a wall, so my objective is to just make sure the sticks don't show. I'm not sure if I will have to cover the back with something. I mean, I was hoping with this armature it would, it would just look kind of nice and sharp, but it just wasn't possible. So I'll just keep going and we'll see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> the worst that would happen is, is that this would end up hanging in my house because no one liked it enough to buy it because of the back. <laughs> That's pretty much my worst case scenario. All right. I have connected every possible joint <laughs> and I've gone through a half a tube of E6000 and I've noticed that the first ones I've done have started definitely setting up where they can't move. Um, I've noticed that the solvent in it is not doing good things to the paper but I'm not really concerned about it because once it dries solid that I mean that's it I mean it's not gonna move it's not gonna do anything else to the paper other than the fact that it's not archival right like this piece is never gonna hang in a in a in like the gallery of Canada <laughs> I like that um, it's dripping over a little bit on the sides which is adhering it actually you know what I might purposely kind of do that. Just let it drip a little bit over the sides at each corner. My biggest fear is that I'll hang this on the wall and someone will love it as much as I do and they'll take it home and it'll fall apart on their wall. And not so much that they would want their money back because I totally get that they would want their money back, but that, I don't know, a piece of my art could take out a small dog. <laughs> it fell off the wall. Oh. <laughs> oh. I've said this before and I'll probably say it again. I <laughs> there's a special place in hell for me. If you like this assemblage videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here. This is the first time I did this, but I think it's really cool. I'm going to do it again. I'd love to hear some comments about what you think. And I invite you to follow me on my artful journey by subscribing and sharing and visiting me on my website and on my social media. I hope you have a great day. Bye.